this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making these super cute paper holders to hold our little candy treats. And this is going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. The nice thing is, is that you'll get to use um, some of your stash and it doesn't cost a lot to make these. I got the little candy uh, treats from Dollar Tree. They came in a, a pack, so you can make a bunch of these. Um, now this paper pack actually is from May May Made It. It's called Wedding Bliss, but it had these uh, heart papers in there that I thought were really cute. And this is a six by six paper pad, and I think it's just super gorgeous. Look how pretty this is. And so for my treats, I can pick just about any of these. Um, this is the heart paper that we're gonna be using, with the black and the pink and white. It's a double-sided paper. You can do stripes if you want. Um, you can use whatever paper you have. And when I was looking through this, I was thinking, you know what? These would be nice little party favors or bridal shower favors, um, or you could even do baby shower favors. So you can pick whatever paper you have, get that paper out of your stash and start using it. So for this, I'm going to be using um, this mini score pal, but you don't have to have a score pal to do this. Uh, these are, I cut these um, six inches, of course, this is six inches, so it's already done for you. But right here is uh, two and a quarter, but I'll make sure I put the measurements below and I'll put all the material that I use for this project. Also, my little Snickers is the measurement I'm going to use. Now, I do have some Twix bars, and so depending on the size of your uh, bar is, is what size you're going to cut your paper. So I wanted to make sure these would fit. And so when I first saw this, I was like, you know what, these are too long. And I said, you know what, I can take some tape, because, you know, how us crafters are, we like to adapt to whatever situation we have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, just a tiny piece of scotch tape, and I'm going to tape these ends back so that I can have it measure at around two and a quarter inches. So I didn't want those sides to be sticking out, but it's up to you. And you can make a bunch of these, you know, for Valentine's Day or for an office party. It, it just depends on what you want to do. Okay, so this, of course, this is another side that I could use, but I'm going to use the side with the heart. So look how pretty that is. That's going to actually fit right in between there. So once you've measured that out, the width of the candy bar, that's how you're going to do this. Now, with my mini score pal, this is actually, I have a larger one called the score pal. This is the score buddy. It's a little mini one. I'm going to mark my little paper here. And so I need it to be at least an inch. This part, this way, it's an inch. So I hope I'm being clear on that. This way, it's going to be measuring an inch. And let me secure that a little bit more with my tape here. You can be ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to score this at two and a half. Turn it this way and score it again at two and a half. And you don't need a score, buddy, to do this. Okay. And so this is the part where our um, candy bar is going to sit. Okay, so let me just put this aside. And you can do a bunch of these. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this one also. So I can use it with either side. But I think what I'm going to do is I, I love the heart. So you just want to make sure you know what part you want facing out. Two and a half there. And two and a half. And this all comes together. You'll see. And guess what? They're super fun to make. Okay, so once that's done... Once this is done like that, I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. See how easy that is? And fold this up. All right, so you want your candy bar just sitting in here. So it's just kind of like a little chair for your candy bar. Okay, and remember I folded down the ends so they wouldn't stick out. Just like that. And it just sits like this, okay? So all I'm gonna do now 
is I've got some double-sided tape and I get this tape from Dollar Tree and I do want I don't want my candy bar to slip out so I'm just taking a little bit of this tape putting it right there putting it right in the middle of here and then I'm folding this up and look how adorable that is now I'm going to punch a hole in there and if you want to punch before you can I just decide I'll punch after I can hold it in place but whatever works for you is fine okay I'm gonna punch a hole there because I'm gonna to need to tie this up okay so let me just go ahead and really get a good fold on that okay make sure my tape is on there yep and then it makes it just really easy to pull this off okay let's see now and this is my uh, first I've made several of these already just for practice and I was just super happy with the way they came out and if I can do this you can too and so always looking for easy ways to give gifts and I thought this was a super easy one so now I'm doing is just pulling my ribbon through here just get some pretty ribbon you can get red for Valentine's Day or if you're making a specific kind of theme then go for it with uh, whatever colors you want for that theme okay so I'm just kind of giving it a little double knot one way and then I'm going to knot it the other way okay just like that and so that's what you have already so now you get to just do add a little bit of decoration to this so what I'm going to do is just use my my little hearts that I already have cut out and see how fast this is going and I just want to show you what I use to cut this heart out this is one of my stickers it's really super tiny now what I could have done is just stick it on here but I wanted to use this as a template so now I could either do this which to me it doesn't show up as much but when I flip it over like that I added some stitching to it and everything I can do it like that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use this right here because I think that pink looks really cute so you just have fun with it and just try different things so I'm just gonna stick it on with either I could use some double-sided tape uh, you have options I just like to show you different options you can use um, your art glitter glue if you want I'm gonna just use this right here this is my um, ad tech crafters tape I'm gonna stick it on there and I could be done but I think it needs a nice little ribbon somewhere off to the side and see I just kind of tilted my I don't have to have it straight I just tilted my heart just a little bit and now this is where you can start using some of your thin ribbon so I'm just gonna make a really quick bow here Let's see just about finished this one and this is where you can start to use all your little ribbons up here see I'll do it this way so nothing fancy I'm just making a cute little bow but wouldn't it be nice to leave this on a desk for one of your co-workers or your child can leave this on the desk for a teacher super simple doesn't cost much just get a bag of candy and just go to town start creating because I like to find like really easy and fun stuff and you can get fancier and fancier with these it's just up to you but imagine for a bridal shower get your paper packs your cardstock and stuff and just start making some stuff okay so I'm gonna just cut these down because to me they're a little bit too long yeah so you can have fun making all of this awesome stuff you can put little gems on here pearls imagine for a bridal shower or baby shower just put little pearl things on there um, if you know in advance that it's a girl or a boy you can do that too okay so now I'm gonna now take this add a little bit of glue to this just a tiny dot of glue okay 
And so some of you have mentioned that you're having problems with your glue gun and the strings. Um, a tip I learned from another YouTuber was that she took the glue gun and, and once she saw the strings come, she just kind of twirled it around and the strings went away. Because I know those, uh, those little glue strings could be kind of aggravating. So that was a nice tip. And so now I can just put this on here like that. And now I've got a cute little bow. Look how adorable that is. And I can keep adding different things to this. I don't have to leave it like that. But if you want, you can leave it like that. Or if you if you want, here's another idea. I have all of these. Why am I saving all of these hearts? Get all of your stash out and start doing these little hearts. I think this will be nice for a teen party also. That's just, just me thinking outside the box here. Now I could take one of these hearts and maybe put one off to the side. Let me use my art glitter glue here. So you can make a ton of these. And imagine sitting them up on the table so that each person can have a little favor to take for coming to the party or whatever celebration you're having. I can also take my gel pen um, like I did here on this heart. I just took my red gel pen and just went around the sides here. So all you have to do is just measure it um, just like how I did. Um, if you want to come longer on the top, you can. Um, I'm thinking I could possibly stack some of these, but then you'll have to kind of measure the height to be longer. You'll have to use maybe a 12 by 12 paper and kind of cut it down to fit, but that would work too. So, I mean, you can stack these. So you see how that looks on the inside there? I'm thinking stacking some of these candies on top of each other, just putting some double-sided tape and stacking them, and then you can have kind of a... Uh, more than one basically so you can do them as many as you want so let me show you the other ones that i did look how cute that is aren't those just the most adorable things here's another one just using your scraps of paper to create the hearts and just mix and match them so i hope this helped you i had so much fun making this and i know this was a short video but um I just wanted to show you how super easy these were. So you go ahead and get your scraps out and don't forget to join us over in our uh, gift basket appeal uh, crafters group on Facebook. And I will go ahead and post that link below. I'll also post the, um, the link to where you can get one of these uh, mini score pals. Uh, I like this little one. It's very convenient for like some of those smaller projects, but they do have the larger one also but I'll go ahead and post a link to that as well. So I will see you real soon and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.